Hey everyone, Chris here. Look, I really needed to make this video because something that I've been waiting for for a very long time has just hit total. And that is a beautifully designed component library. Um, I'm a huge fan of shared CNUI, um, Radix or Radix, Tailwind. Um, but the one thing that I felt personally that Total was missing was just a really good UI to be able to really quickly build up um, applications. And while it does have this visual editor, which obviously really makes the life easy in terms of being able to design and develop, um, I'm just not the best designer. Um, you know, I can build and I love building and I love solving problems, but I can't design uh, to save myself. And what's really difficult is I feel like I've got a really good sense of what looks visually um, appealing and what is a good UI. Um, but I just, you know, I really struggle on getting it right. Um, and this is where Spark One comes in. So for anyone that isn't familiar with Toddle itself, or um, I'll lead into Spark One, but basically Toddle is a uh, visual web framework so pretty much imagine react with a visual builder attached to it um, there's so much you can do not only just build um, you know pages and components um, there's context there's states you can fetch data and then utilize that data to um, you know fill out your UI um, yeah there's it's pretty much react with a visual um with a visual builder attached to it it's absolutely incredible i love it for building out my web applications um and yeah it's just had a huge upgrade now with spark one so um to kind of get a bit of a good idea on how this sort of works it's probably a good idea to mention um uh radix or radix ui um as well as uh where is it spark core so um and we'll go shared cnui so when building like react and nextjs applications i tend to use shared cn um, absolutely love shared cn it's just a beautifully designed component library out of the box um, it has accessibility features and functionalities that just look incredible. Like, look at that. Like, it looks so good. And then it obviously has some um, theming that you can do to it as well. This is just an example, but there's a lot you can do to make this look really good, right? Um, so it's built on top of um, Radix UI, which, as you can see here, is absolutely stunning. Um, and that is kind of the, the same sort of similar functionality here with Spark Core is the core UI library that they've built, which is unstyled, but it has all the functionality, much like Redux. And then they've built Spark One, which is sort of the component library that uses Spark Core, um, but has styling and things applied. Uh, so it gives you a great starting point, much like Shad CN does. So um, I've been waiting for this and today's literally my birthday and they released it midnight on my birthday. I'm so thankful for the team. Just to kind of give you a quick rundown, Spark One, um, as you can see, is a whole pile of different components. Um, so if I come into this section, um, components, and then you can come through and you can see that this component is built of components. Um, and then let's say I go to the button secondary component of examples. Each one of these you can see will have like the secondary button, but then there's attributes that you can apply to it. Um, so like this loading one, loading, if that's set to true, it will show that. If I take the loading out, oh whoops, if I take the loading out and then I add, uh, if I go false, you can see that the text inside of it's being displayed instead. So that means that if you conditionally set this using state or context or maybe something coming from the API or when you're submitting a form and you're yeah, sending content to an API and the API, you know, waiting for the response back, you can set this to loading um, programmatically. 
which will then you know show that little spinner so there's so much to it that is absolutely incredible i won't go into a lot of detail um on this but it just saves so much time and it is absolutely stunning completely customizable because one of the kind of second things that rolled along with spark one was that total have now um, provided the ability to style components directly so prior to this when you would select a component while you're um, developing um, you didn't have the style tab it was just the attributes and the events um, so from there um, being able to to style the root element of the component directly from um, the parent component is another huge game changer. That just means that each instance of a component you can slightly tweak um, and it just gives so much more control. The other key thing that I love with this library is that it comes with you know some formulas and actions, um, but it also has a really great um, theme built directly into it where I've set all the theming uh, variables. So these are just CSS uh, variables um, and they're all preset for you. And what's great is that for all kind of brand related colors, they use the brand coloring and then we can just come through and if you want use the radix ui um, colors and replace them um, here and it will just swap them out so instead of this purple if you wanted um, you know a particular pink or something you can come through and um, update all of these and then within the design itself um, all of the purple kind of primary brand related colors will all switch to that pink. So there's, you know, just so much here that is incredibly exciting. I'm super excited, super thankful. Just wanted to make this video because I think that this is really going to change the way a lot of people are utilizing Total, including myself. Um, it should make things a lot quicker for us. Um, and I'm really excited to see this component library expand over time. Um, but yeah, even just if you are a Total user, come through and check the pro project out because it's an absolute masterclass in how to properly utilize components and how to pass data down, um, how to utilize context rather than like prop drilling. Uh, there's just so much to it. Um, super thankful. And yeah, just wanted to quickly get this out there because I think people need to see this.